guys, welcome back to the Nasty channel. I am Kasang and this is episode 4 of the Nasty Maker season 1. So if you guys don't know about the Nasty Maker, this is a series where we teach you guys how to make your own jewelry at home all by yourself. And in today's video, we will be teaching you guys how to make these pretty Chandwal inspired earrings. So in order to make these, the materials that you guys will be needing are the wires these are the jewelry making wires and today we will be using a golden colored wires and this also is a 21 gauge wire we will be using chains so yeah since we are using golden wires we will be using golden colored chain as well so yeah that is that and apart from the chain we will also be needing head pins which are these so the head pins are needle-like pins which these are which are for your jewelry. So yeah, that's that. And after that, you guys will be needing ear hooks. These are ready-made ear hooks, and these are also in golden. And the color of your bead. Today we will be using pearls. These are four pearls. So yeah. These are the beads that we will be using for today's earring. And for the tools, you guys will be needing pliers, wire cutters, so yeah, that's that, and pliers, these are round nozzle pliers. So alright, so these are all the materials and the tools that you'll be needing for this particular design and without any further ado, let's jump right into the DIY portion. Alright, to start off, we will start with the head pins. Take one of your head pins. And then loop one bead to that. Okay, and then leaving one centimeter gap, you snap the remaining wire. And then you gotta take your plier and then gently holding at the tip of the wire with your pliers, you slightly rotate it like this. And then once the uh, tip of the wire touches the end, you gently press your pliers against it like this so that you can close the loop. So alright, um, this is the first part of this design, the earrings. So you gotta uh, make 10 of these. So let me quickly make this. That was one. Again, tip. It's okay if uh, you are not getting it because it takes a lot of practice, so you gotta keep on doing it and you'll get the hang of it eventually. So, yeah, let's do that. That's two. Again, repeat the same step. Loop your bead, cut the excess wire, take the pliers, and make the loops. Twist it like this and then close the loop. All right, uh, so you'll be needing five of these for like one pair. So I have three, let me add two more for five. Oops, oops, five. All right, so we have five of these and now what you gotta do is take your wire. Take the wire, straighten it out using your fingers. Please be gentle, do not prick yourself. It's not very pleasant, you know? So yeah, take that and then take the pearl and then loop it. Loop it. And then we're gonna take the ones with the head pins and we're gonna loop it through. So we're gonna like do an alternative of a pearl and then one with the head pin. So a pearl, and another goes the head pins. Okay, pearl, the head pin one. Pearl, and then goes the head pin. And then the pearl. And the last one. And the head pin. Now, okay, so now once you have something like this, this is the time to attach your chain. So for the chain, Okay, let me keep it aside. 
Okay, now take the chain and now the length, it depends upon your preference, whether you want your dangle to be long or short, uh, depending on that, just eyeball, you know, just eyeball the length of the chain and then take the wire cutter and just snip it. All right. So this is the chain. Now getting back to the wire. Now again, taking the pliers, make a small loop. Take the end of the wire and slightly twist it to its side. And then before closing this loop, what you're gonna do is take the chain and then loop it through. And close the loop like this. All right, so once the chain is secured in one end, what you gotta do is move these to the side and taking one centimeter gap again, snip it. Then put it aside. Take your pliers again. Take the tip of the wire. Rotate it to make another loop. And take the other end of the chain. And you've got to loop it. Come on, get in. Ah, why is it getting in? All right. Okay. Uh, so once that's inside the loop, you got to close it with the help of your pliers. All right. So that is that. And uh, you can keep the wire straight. I like it a bit curved so that it gives that chan belly uh, design, you know. So that you gotta just press these and pull it inside. So then you have a nice curved thing like this. And once this uh, reaches this stage, all you gotta do is take your, your hook, open the end, and then hold your earring like this so that you have this pointed tip and that is where you would want to insert your ear hook so that the chain is equal in length in both the sides so yeah so that is that and then close it and there you go it's done so you have this pretty dangles ready to be like added to your attire to make you look more pretty in whenever you're rocking that desi attire, you know. So that is it. These are like so pretty. These are like very uh, lightweight so you guys can uh, wear it for longer times in case you're going to attend some weddings you know you can like rock this dance in this is how you make these pretty earrings and again for the materials if you guys wanna uh, get the exact same materials for this exact same design you guys can check our store that is on instagram the nasty store and if you guys didn't know we also make and sell jewelries handmade stuff uh, there so you guys can check us out on instagram as well and regarding the materials you guys can dm us you guys can purchase the material for this design as well as all the other designs that we made in the previous episode all are available in the nasty store so yeah make sure you guys visit us on instagram and i think that is about it and before we sign off uh, we would want to tell you guys that since we are making these earrings uh through the videos uh these are the earrings that we are not uh, no longer selling on our store and since we have already made these earrings we thought instead of just holding these we would give away the earrings to you guys so if you guys are interested in winning these earrings including the ones that we made in the previous episodes uh, just comment in the comment sections down below one thing that you think is good about the Nasty store and one thing that is bad about the Nasty store and the comment which gets the maximum number of likes wins this amazing earrings so yeah uh, i hope you guys participate in this giveaway because who doesn't like free gifts right so yeah and i'll see you guys in my next video with new designs and yeah i'll see you bye peace